In the fall of 2023, the world learned that Usher would be the headliner for the Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show in Las Vegas. This electrifying announcement was made by none other than the triad of NFL, Apple Music, and Rock Nation. Usher, the genius behind the iconic album Confessions, couldn't contain his excitement about the upcoming show. His career, radiant with eight Grammy Awards and a trail of chart-topping hits, had prepared him for this moment. In addition to his music, Usher's versatile talent also shone through his Las Vegas residency, film appearances, and even a coaching stint on The Voice. With such a stellar yeah, reputation I, I and a multitude of hits under his belt, expectations were high for Usher's halftime play. performance. As if the Super Bowl approached, fans eagerly speculated about Usher's set list and potential guest performers. The air was thick with anticipation and the internet was abuzz with predictions. Some fans were convinced that Usher's set list would mirror that of his Las Vegas residency. Others passionately debated the inclusion of his hit song OMG, a tune that saw Usher at his best. The website, Usher Setlist, became a hub for these speculations. It was here that fans could create their own prediction lists a testament to the interactive culture of music fandom in the digital age. Among the chatter, a tantalizing hint from Usher himself emerged. He suggested that skating could be a part of his performance, a prospect that had fans on the edge of their seats. In the realm of potential guest performers, names like Alicia Keys, Justin Bieber and even Beyonce were tossed around. These artists, all of whom have collaborated with Usher in the past, would certainly add a dash of extra star power to the halftime show. As the big day neared, anticipation built up, with fans eagerly awaiting to see if their predictions would come true. On February 11, 2024, Usher took to the stage for the Super Bowl halftime show, ready to deliver an unforgettable performance. As the lights dimmed, the anticipation in the air was palpable. Usher, the eight-time Grammy winner, dazzled the audience with his charisma and talent. His set list, a blend of classics and fresh tracks, had everyone on their feet. Songs like Yeah! reverberated through the stadium, while his newer pieces introduced fans to his upcoming album. A master of spectacle, Usher made sure the visuals matched his music's energy. With every beat, the special effects accentuated the rhythm, creating a visual symphony that captivated the viewers. But the surprises didn't stop there. Guest performers added to the star power of the night. The likes of Alicia Keys and Justin Bieber graced the stage, their collaborations with Usher adding an extra layer of excitement to the performance. But the Super Bowl halftime show isn't just about the music. It's a strategic platform for artists like Usher. Despite receiving only the minimum union rate for his performance, he stands to gain significantly from other avenues. Endorsement deals and commercials related to the Super Bowl often result in six- or seven-figure earnings for stars of his magnitude. Additionally, a significant boost in music streams and sales typically follows such high-profile performances. The halftime show also served as a valuable advertisement for Usher, promoting his new album and upcoming tour. The exposure, estimated to be worth about $182 million, is an unparalleled opportunity for artists to connect with their fans and reach new audiences. Despite the financial realities of the halftime show, Usher's performance was a resounding success, delivering a memorable show to millions of viewers around the world.